one of the other narratives and storylines with the Astros yesterday was an article that Bob Nightingale wrote for USA Today. And it went a little bit into the cheating scandal, the aftermath, uh, Jim Crane in general, and his plans. But one of the pieces of the article that really stood out to me that had some people talking was that there was a little bit of a retort or a response to Brian Cashman of the Yankees' comments. Now, just a refresher, uh, was Brian Cashman a couple of months ago told The Athletic regarding them winning the World Series, the Yankees, quote, the only thing that stopped us was something that was so illegal and horrific. So I get offended when I start hearing we haven't been to the World Series since 09 because I'm like, well, I think we actually did it the right way, end quote. We had not heard Jim Crane respond to that until Bob Nightingale, shout out to Bob Nightingale, got Jim Crane to talk about it. I found his comments to be extremely strange, Jim Crane said. There's the letter, and you were doing it too. You were there, dude. What are you talking about? If I was one of the teams and I knew our team was doing it, I'd keep my mouth shut and just go about our business. But listen, I can only control what's going on here. I can't control what the other guys do. I think he's right. If you were doing it, and if the letter proves that, why are you still talking about it? That's a great point by Jim Crane. I just think everybody did it. And right. look, you might have done a lesser degree of it. I suppose this opens up a conversation about, is all cheating the same? Because I know a lot of people do feel that way. There's no denying that the Astros went above and beyond when it came to what they were doing with the sign stealing. But there were other teams who were doing it and in ways that were nefarious. And there was only one team that was investigated post-2017 for all of those things. It was not the Yankees. It was not the Boston Red Sox. Those teams were punished for what took place prior to that memo being sent out, which was in the 2017 season. And I just think it's naive to believe that none of those teams who were punished before, after getting a small fine and a memo, that every single team across baseball all of a sudden decided, yeah, we're not going to do this. The Colorado Rockies are a team that no one's really discussed on this front. The Colorado Rockies were allegedly, per um, I forget the guy's name, but an ex-catcher, he said that instead of using a trash can to... Give out signals, the Rockies, who were also using a video replay system of some sort, were using a Theragun, which they would bang off of their bench. Have you ever seen a Theragun? Theraguns are right. definitely something that would make a lot of noise if, gone, if, if hit up against a metal bench or something like that. So that's just one team. Other teams were doing varying degrees of this. And if you want a little bit more proof, I would just ask you to rewatch Game 7 of the World Series between the Astros and Dodgers, another team who has been linked to it, but has never had any definitive blood on their hands. It's sort of like with, um, I'm trying to think of somebody who everyone assumes cheated, but there was never any definitive evidence that they did. Maybe there's someone in the steroid era that we had that kind of gut feeling with. I mean, there are people all the time that are asked if whether or not they did steroids and they get genuinely offended because they didn't. Like one thing, like I know Frank Thomas, Frank Thomas will always tell you I I was clean. Ladies. She's going to love it, too. <laughs> I love him, by the way. It's a great commercial. Uh, Frank Thomas here for eugenics. Yeah, but I, I, do, start crying I, do understand, I do understand why people that did it, quote unquote, the right way want to make it clear, whether it's steroids, cheating, whatever. I do understand why they get defensive. Mm-hmm. But with these teams, to what you're talking about, is anybody completely clean when it comes to cheating? Exactly. And, and, and to finish up with that Game 7 reference, that game featured so many past balls and I remember talking with Lance McCullers about this over on over on the flagship for the Texans. And he was saying, we had so many crossed up signs because we knew that the Dodgers were stealing signs. Mm-hmm. And just, just go back and watch the beginning of that game. Game 7 of the 2017 World Series is one of the sloppiest games that you will ever see from a pitching perspective. Pass balls, walks, etc. And it was because the signs were getting crossed up so much. So I, I just find it ridiculous that there are still some who are willing to point at it and use that as an excuse for their own shortcomings.